is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do what sold videos, I'll do unboxings, I'll do reviews, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So today's video <laughs> is my long-awaited Jomar box. Um, the last Jomar box I'll ever get, even if this is the best thing ever, it's just so not worth it for me personally to get um, these mystery boxes from Jomar. I just don't like paying so much and having to wait so long. This box took nearly two months to get to me. I ordered it January like 4th or 5th or something and um, it just got here yesterday, which was February 26th. I think <laughs> um, and today's the 27th that I'm unboxing it that's also super busted there's like a big hole on the side um, and yeah we'll see what happens if you guys saw my last Jomar box it was it was really 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 bad I had to get it sent back um, this box I have gotten it before and it was really good um, and when I ordered it it said one box left like on like the screen so I'm like, oh, they must have these ready to go and know how many they have left because it says one box left. So I bought it. So on their website, it says they usually take 14 business days to ship out, but because of COVID, it's 21. But then when it takes longer than 21, they say, well, because of COVID, it's really <laughs> 60. I don't even know. I don't know how many business days are in two months. So I didn't want to reach out and say, hey, can you send me this box? Because last time I did that, they sent me a bunch of trash I assume they just found lying around <laughs> to make me a box. Um, so I didn't want to say that for this and have them, again, just send me a bunch of random awful things. But it was getting ridiculous, so I said, can I at least get an update? And they said, it'll be at the end of next week. And then two days later, it shipped out. So we're here now. I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> so it's the men's athletic um and career wear box and yeah last time it was really good for me it's 40 pieces and let's see if that has a price uh 139.99 with a 41 dollar 19 cent shipping um because i live in oregon and they all ship out of philadelphia i pay more in shipping which is another reason i'm a big big fan of jomar i don't think it's fair <laughs> I mean, I definitely understand shipping rates and stuff, but I just wish they had um, like uh, like flat rate shipping, you know, but that's whatever, uh, cause I'm not buying from them again. Uh, but in total cost 181.18 for 40 pieces. Hi guys, I just wanted to jump in on this video real quick and just give a few disclaimers. Um, this box wasn't good. I've talked about it prior. You might be able to tell from the thumbnail or the title, but this was a bad box. Um, I'll get into why it's a bad box, but I just know throughout this video, my energy was super low and it was really sad. But I do mention towards the end, maybe possibly asking for a refund and all that stuff. I decided after a couple of hours after opening the box that it really wasn't worth it for me to go through all that hassle. It took me about a month to return the other box because I was so lazy about it and I had to go to a different post office than I usually did and I just didn't want to have to deal with it again and I kind of ran the numbers I feel like I can make my money back but it's not gonna happen anytime soon but I did just want to come in here beforehand and sort of run through some of the numbers with you guys out of the 40 items that I assume that I got I didn't count them <laughs> because I was not happy um, but out of all the items that I did receive I only ended up keeping 23 of them which is not great and especially you'll see which ones I end up keeping and they're not high dollar items and I did spend $181.18 on this box so my cost of goods per item is $7.88 which is really high when it was supposed to be closer to $4 if I kept all the pieces um, maybe $5 if a few of them weren't in great condition but you will see I got a lot of new tag items which you know I should be excited about but they were like very cheap items so you'll see I don't want to spoil anything for you guys but I did want to come on here and say I did end up keeping the box luckily my fiance found a good handful of pieces that he wanted to keep and I'm happy with letting him use those so that was a positive um, I guess you can say uh, all things considered but yeah 
it wasn't great, I'll let you guys make your own opinions. Um, definitely let me know afterwards how you guys would have felt if you got this box or how you feel about it or any of that stuff if you've gotten it before. I do mention it, but I've gotten this box before and it was absolutely amazing, like blow my mind, like not what I was expecting. And then this was crazy disappointing, like way below my worst expectations. I just feel like Jomar is that way where it's like the box is either amazing, like blows your mind or it's absolutely awful and you are pretty justified in asking for a full refund. But again, I ended up keeping it. Let's get into it. All right, so our first piece is new with tags and it's cute. It's a size extra large. It's just a crew neck, but it is from Adidas. And yeah, I think it's cute. It's simple and it has a, like right there on like a little mock neck collar. And it's just a great crew. This is technically supposed to be like pre-owned clothes. So that's in the good pile. I'm also gonna try and separate things by um, athletic and career. That's what I did last time. And I did get more career. So this is like a mandarin collar uh, button up, 100% cotton. It's tailored by J. Crew and it's an extra small and it's a slim fit. I honestly don't do too bad selling men's extra smalls. I think because when women, if women buy it, it's more like a small medium to them and they don't mind um, purchasing like men's clothing. There is like fraying right there by the collar but otherwise it's pretty cute. I was happy because in the last box, like every piece to me was sellable. This piece I'm not excited about. <laughs> it's Goodfellow and it is new with tags, which I feel like that's sort of how they get away with putting like bad brands in here. They're like, oh, but it's like new with tags. It costs $10. Uh, it's a size large and it's a plain long sleeve. This is just gonna go to my fiance. Goodfellow is a Target brand. So one I'm not selling. Here's another good fellow, new with tag pieces. Sorry if I'm being quiet, I'm just tired today, but this one's nice. It's like a little button up neck, white, uh, like thick knit. This one was originally $16.99. Uh, if my fiance wants it, he can have it. Um, otherwise I'll sell it. All right, so this is Ralph Lauren. It's a size medium. It's not polo Ralph Lauren but I don't think it's any of the expensive ones um, because it is still just like a, just a button up top. In this interesting pattern, <laughs> kind of loud. Uh, it's a size medium, I think I said that, classic fit. And yeah, I think it's just a button up. I was happy because in the last one I only got like a few polos, um, Ralph Lauren polos. <laughs> I wonder if this is the same polo I got last time. Yep, I got this polo last time. It's a polo by Ralph Lauren, 3XL, big. Um, I didn't end up listing it from my last box because it was just so interesting. Um, but it has the polo thing there. This is a nice big size, I'm not quite sure. Oh, and there's a big stain right there. Ugh. I don't know, hopefully there's enough stuff to make up for it in this box that I don't have to sell it. Okay, polo golf, size large. Um, this like very sheer striped top that feels very weird. Um, and it has holes in it, so that's a no. So this is Brooks Brothers uh, 15 and a half, 35 Madison shirt. Um, I did get some Brooks Brothers in my last box, um, but they were like more substantial pieces. They were blazers. Um, there's a little mark on it, but it feels like pretty like stiff still. And it kind of gives me some like Southwestern vibes with like the pocket and the color. So I guess I'll sell that. <laughs> so this has a Plato's Closet tag on it for $14, which is very interesting because they have their own um, like thrift stores, which is where I assume they got most of this like, uh, like pre-owned clothing. But now I think that they actually source from like other places that send them that like the pre-owned clothing. Um, these are Under Armour pants, size 3632, um, like a trouser almost. Yeah, there's a stain like directly on the crotch and also kind of just looks like a hole. 
<sighs> I'll wash them and see. Okay. Umbra, which either is no longer in existence or sold at like Walmart Target, I want to say. These were $30. They're new with tag. I've tried to sell this brand before and it just doesn't do very well. Um, and they're a size small. They're just a nice little sweatpant. Um, kind of like the Adidas joggers where it like stops halfway there. Another one, $30 tag, size large. You really aren't promised anything in these boxes. They just, the worst part about Jomar to me, besides their awful customer service um, and not getting you your stuff on time, is the fact that their boxes are so inconsistent. Where this one, I hopefully will make my money back. On the other one, I made my money back in like four pieces, so. That's just another thing to think about. I'm trying to do most of the career wear first because it's the least exciting. So this is Jax New York. Jax is not expensive. Um, I've sold it once before. It's 100% Egyptian cotton. It's, it's a nice button up. Another good fellow. $20 lightweight hoodie, new with tags. Pretty disappointed by this box so far. Um, it's black. It has like a button up thing and it is a size large. Oh, good. A blank Sonoma t-shirt, Walmart. <laughs> or Target, honestly, I can't tell the difference between the two. This one's cute little button up neck thing. It's a size medium slim, which is not my fiance size. That won't go for more than $10. If, if that. <laughs> this is uh, quite honestly, um, the second worst Jomar box I've ever gotten. This box is totally not worth $181. I'll just go ahead and say it. Um, Urban Pop, Pop Line. <laughs> Urban Pipeline. Very cheap brand. Very see-through shirt. Um, headband. Never heard of it. Size medium. Long sleeve. Not gonna sell it. It's because it's definitely cheap. It does have a cute little pocket though. And of course I'll look it up, but I'm already like really tired today. So if this is like a really down video, I very much apologize. Another good fellow piece, new with tag, size large. This one was $25 and it's a thin flannel. This stuff is cute, but if I wanted to get a bunch of Target stuff, I could go on bulk and get it for half the price and twice as many items. So this is GH Bass and Company, new with tags. $60 originally, size medium. It's made in Egypt. I haven't heard of this brand, but I really don't want to say it's going to resell for very much, but it is a nice, pretty colored flannel. Um, definitely more fall vibes, but men wear their flannels all year round. Size medium. Another new tag. Goodfellow men's flannel, size extra large. It was on clearance for $12.48. And another new tag. This is Alpine Lakes. Haven't heard of it. Hopefully it's a good outdoors brand. It's just polyester. Um, it's a size large. And it's actually completely see-through, which is very odd. So I haven't heard of this one. It says proudly by Texport 1978 SE. I don't know what that means. But it is a corduroy and corduroy. Um, it's kind of making a comeback. But it's a, it's a corduroy flannel. And again, everything kind of seems to be kind of like see-through. Like, that's kind of strange. There's no size. Oh, there's some weird tag in here. This seems like it could be a sample piece because of like a handwritten tag. This seems a little vintage, possibly. Yeah, made in the US, 100% cotton size, extra large. The brand is Peconic Bay Traders. And it kind of looks to be like a really cute, oh, I thought it was gonna have buttons all the way down, but it's like a, a, a kind of cute, like um, knit, cream colored knit. And it's vintage and I like to sell vintage. Um, it seems to be in pretty good condition. I like that. It's not anything like flashy vintage, so I don't think I'm gonna get like very much for it. So the reason I got this box again, like I said, my last month's box was amazing from them um, and because I stopped getting thread up men's boxes because they've been like this, but 
half the price <laughs> nearly. Um, actually, no, because they're $90 for 25 pounds and this was 30 pounds for $181. Um, I just knew the weight from like the shipping and tracking, but Banana Republic, straight 34.34. Men's jean. I'll sell those. It's a pair of True Religion, size large. And I actually did just get um, a pair of men's True Religion at the bins. They were like a jean jogger, but these I think are women's. They seem very small to be a men's large. They have this gold thing and this gold um, horseshoe on the zipper on the pocket. True Religion is often faked, so you do really have to like triple check things. They don't have any rivets, so I can't really check the rivets, but kind of cute. This says ACG. It's very worn and like the tag is like literally peeling off. Kind of gross. Size large. Has a, like a pocket outline in the front and then ACG on the back. This is cute. Probably Goodfellow or just completely unbranded. Little raglan, yellow and blue. T, um, the tiniest little tag. Apple Day Medium. It's from Kohl's. Original use from Target on clearance for $5. A size extra large. This is a huge extra large graphic long sleeve. If everything in this box was technically $5, like on sale, the clearance tag $5, then that would make every like this box worth originally $200, which is basically what I paid for it. So yeah, I'm not happy. Sonoma. Sonoma, medium, uh, new attack, $40. Oh, and I guess Sonoma is a Kohl's brand, not Walmart Target, but Kohl's. I don't know why they're giving me all these flannels. <laughs> uh, tech gear, see-through tech gear pants, um, size medium. So this is a slim straight J. Crew pink jean. 39, 32. Um, and these just look like women's jeans to me. But I don't think J. Crew does like that kind of sizing for women. It's the 484 four, Slim, so I click that up. Um, it's cotton. And I'm not saying because they're pink, because I did get a pink blazer in my last box that was men's and it sold very fast. Um, what did, what did I see the size was? Oh, 29, yeah, they're, they're very small. <laughs> Me Hill figure, size large, pretty colored flannel. I guess not really a flannel, just like a casual button down shirt. Banana Republic Lux Poplin Medium, made in Sri Lanka, white button down shirt. <laughs> this looks like it's from Hollister. Or, or the other one, American Eagle. I swear I've gotten this shirt before in a box. <laughs> Older American Eagle um, pinstripe. Literally every shirt <laughs> that um, the boys in my like middle school would wear when we had like fancy like concerts and stuff. What are you? G Star Raw or 3301 by G Star Raw. Haven't heard of it. Um, they seem to be a very thick, high quality jean, but they also seem to be like a teeny tiny size. It's made in China. It's a size 28. And it's button fly. Um, and it's like distressing on the front and the back. Hopefully those are good. This is a champion shirt. Um, Possibly vintage, yeah. It's looking vintage. It's 100% cotton. It was made in Indonesia, so I don't know how old. Um, it looks like that. Eh, maybe it's not vintage, but it does have the paper tag and like an older looking tag. This seems like tech gear to me. This is something very cheap. 
Oh, pff, Nike, size large. Uh, Nike scuba hoodie, size large. It has that sticker on it, which I think I could just take off. Um, it has a very interesting material to it. It's sort of like a bathing suit material. It's in eh condition. It's from 2017 and it's 100% polyester. We're almost done guys. So this is weekday, which I feel like I've heard of. It's a size small, um, but I don't think it's very expensive and it is just a plain black long sleeve. These are kind of gross. Puma, size medium, gross like see-through men's workout pants. Um, but Alfani, super cheap, like see-through again, size extra large, um, courier shirt. Our last piece <laughs> um, is a Uniqlo, which I do okay selling Uniqlo, size medium, brown basic button-up. Okay. So I don't have very much to say about this box that I haven't already said. Um, it was awful. And honestly, it's like one thing to be like, oh, like it's a mystery box, obviously you don't know what you're gonna get. They do list a certain number of brands as like, oh, these are most likely to be in your box. I got, I wanna say three of them. Um, Nike, Adidas, Brooks Brothers. Uh, I'll definitely have to double check their website. Um, there's nothing I'm thrilled about, <laughs> which sucks, because my last box, like I said, was so good. Um, and this is definitely the last box I'm gonna get from them. It's it's not fair to me to spend so much to wait so long and then just also not having a good idea of what I'm gonna get. Like with ThreadUp, I would I would expect this in a ThreadUp box and I'm willing to pay $90 for this to get in the ThreadUp box, you know? It's not worth the risk to pay double that, wait <laughs> nearly 10 times as long, probably five times as long because from the day I ordered this box to when I got it, I had ordered and received at least five or six throw up boxes. So my suggestion, don't buy from Jomar. <laughs> um, I will probably end up reaching out to them. I hate doing that two boxes in a row because literally I should have just canceled this box after the last one. I do mostly blame myself for not. Um, and having to be like, excuse me, I need to send this box back with a big hole in the side. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> let me know what you guys thought about this box. Would you have paid that much money for Target $5 pieces? <laughs> yeah, ugh. I hate being sad and I hate being disappointed by mystery boxes because mystery boxes are just supposed to be fun. Um, but yeah, I learned my lesson. Not buying from Jomar again. I also don't if you've been watching my videos, I also don't buy from B&G anymore because those have just been so bad. Sorry for a bummed out video. Um, was this better than the last Jomar box I got? Yeah. <laughs> Not everything was like falling apart in my hands. <laughs> but yeah, this one, big thumbs down. I'm very sad. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know again what you guys thought about this box. Have you gotten it before? Do you get good stuff from Jomar? Do you not waste your time anymore definitely let us know um and yeah thank you so much for stopping by hope you have a great time sourcing and selling and i will see you guys all in the next one bye